Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori in my car again, headed home. Got to check my printer at 9:30 on March 17th. I was at work. It's you know first thing in the morning, and things are changing like everybody, evolving and changing pretty much hourly at my work and uh, you know in life we are trying to get prepared to be able to work from home like everybody else half of my team that I'm on is on the phones we talk to customers we are not client facing in the operations center where I work but we talk on the phone call center type environment the other half does the admin type things so we do, um, you know, letters to customers, stuff like that. Well, if we have to work from home, we need to know that we have a printer and we can print. Now, I have a um, Canon Chroma Pixma something or other, but it's an air printer. So I need to run to my house and make sure that... I can print on my home network and get through the firewalls and everything on my work laptop to be able to print from home. Now, most people are like, well, how do you not know you can't print from home? Well, because we're not allowed to use our laptops for personal use. And other than one time last year, that's not true. Last year we had an emergency preparedness exercise day where we all worked from home and it was fine. But before that, I worked at home a little bit when my mom was um, dying with her cancer. And I was able to work from home a little bit. But it's just not something that my area does. We don't work from home. We have laptops in case of emergency, but we don't use them. And I certainly don't sign on to it when I'm at home. I have my own computer, so I've never tried printing from it. So I've never had a reason to. So I'm driving home right now going to run in my house, log on to my work computer, get everything signed up and ready, and then try to print something. A letter, print a document, print something. And then report back to my boss that yes, it works or no, it doesn't work. If it works, then I will be the designated person to print letters from home. So the people who... Um, I have a director of my area, then I have a manager, and I'm the team lead, so somebody will create this letter, and then um, send it to me, and I'll print it, and then get it in the mail. Somehow. That process is still in the works. It's all still in the works, guys. So right now... I'm headed home. It's about 26 miles round trip from my house to my job. But traffic, thank goodness, is so light that it won't take me long. I'll go home. I will do my thing. And then I'll head back to work. And then we'll see if I'm going to work from home. Now, last night, oh, I got half of my, a little more than half of my room tidied up. It's nowhere near where I want it, my craft space. But I'm doing phase one of cleaning up all of the stuff from doing different crafts and things and tidying up, putting everything away that needs to be sorted and then I'll go through each area and clean that up. So we will see what happens if we start working from home. I am working from home tomorrow, but that was a test. But there's a chance that we're all going to be sent home to work irrelevant of testing although we've already tested I mean my I know I can work from home I've logged on we had an exercise over the weekend where we just logged on and made sure so we're set to do it I think everything will be okay and one of our biggest job functions is being set shut down for now so that's good all right well, I will check back in I'll let you know if my printer works if it does, they're going to have to be buying me some ink because I'm not going to have enough. But I can get that on Amazon. All right. I will chat with you in a minute. All right, guys. COVID self-quarantine day four. 
what better time to use the baby feet to peel off all the dead skin than if nobody's going to see me for two weeks, three weeks, a month, a year. I'm watching YouTube videos and <laughs> cleaning out my closet. I'm going through my winter clothes, bringing out spring, so that's why my clothes rack is in the middle of the room. Wellington is just hanging out. Hi, buddy. You hanging out with me? Yeah. And I'm getting ready to put my sock on. If you ever do one of these, this is the um, baby feet. They do work. I've used them before. The best thing to do is you wash your feet, put it on, and then I'm going to slip this sock on and set my timer for an hour. What that the sock does is it squishes all this juice so it stays, hi buddy, so it stays in connection, you know, contact with your foot to get your best bet. So that's what we're doing tonight, watching YouTube. I'm going to read a little bit, and then I'm going to go to bed, and we'll start this all again tomorrow. Can you say hi, buddy? Hi, Dubby. Hi, baby. Hey. I don't know if he's feeling good. He's been a little clingy the last couple days. All right. I will talk with you later. Morning, everybody. Well, yes, it's morning. It's 1030. And we're doing some house cleaning. Um, I'm the only one that lives here, so the disinfecting thing isn't such a big deal unless I leave the house. But I do want to clean my kitchen. I'm going to wipe down all my counters. So I'm making a lot of, you'll see in one of the videos, I don't even know when, that I did dyed some fabric and things like that kind of stained my countertop. So I picked up some, it's tile cleaner, but it has bleach in it, so that helps. What I found is I can spray my counter, let it sit, and it takes up the bleach. What you don't want to do is mix cleaners. So I'm not cleaning with my vinegar and water in here. I'm cleaning with bleach. You don't want to mix the two. Same thing with glass cleaner and your cloths. Just be safe, be careful. So I have different cloths, depending on what I'm doing. Just a little heads up. I need to finish my vanilla syrup and I might be having some of this with some hot tea. This is Canadian Club. It's the diluted from Target so there's less alcohol in it. I guess that's a good thing so they're telling me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm bending over and picking up stuff off my floor that I just dropped. So I'm trying hard to get a sense of order since I'm not leaving the house. And we're just going to pick everything up. I'm going to do my tea kettle next, maybe with some vinegar, but that's later. And my hands are getting very dry. So we're getting out the rubber gloves, guys. It's happening. I pulled out the rubber gloves. So all I'm going to do in here is clear off the counters, probably one at a time, wipe it all down with some bleach spray. Actually, I'm going to spray it, let it sit for a minute, then wipe it down. Coffee. And then go back at it with a clean water, you know, cloth. All my coffee stuff. I mean, what else do I have to do, really? Needlepoint or cross stitch. That's what I've been doing. So there. Now, I will tell you, I do keep these on hand. So if I leave the house, and I also have one in my car. To wipe things down. I'm trying not to be super crazy, but you know, I'm a little crazy is okay. Just because. And this also will take like the grease off of things. Um, because probably if I get all my housework done here, let me show you what I bought to do my kitchen cabinet. Super excited. I even washed my winter coat, by the way. And the reason I'm dressed like this, cleaning with bleach, I end up getting my stuff yucky. So this is called um, Heritage Paint. It's chalk paint. The Heritage. I don't know why it doesn't say on the bottom the name of the company. That's bizarre. But anyway, it's Heritage Chalk Paint. This is all in one. So it's primer paint and top coat base coat primer paint top it's all the things interior exterior formula features a built-in bonding primer wax finish and exterior grade top coat 
This stuff is amazing. I used it in my bathroom on a cabinet to test it out. And now we're going to paint my cabinets white. Maybe next weekend. Um, and I know right now they're offering a 50% off sale. And this stuff, all you literally do is paint it on. I mean, you want to clean your surface, but especially the kitchen. And these are all the colors. I just got the white, white. But this is all the colors they come in right now. Like, that's a lot of choices. Um... This size should cover this whole kitchen plus. It goes on very thick. You do wanna buy their special paintbrush though. It makes life easier. Now, because I'm doing a kitchen, I purchased this all-in-one degreaser degloss surfaces without sanding. So it's a, it's a clear chemical, it's not, it doesn't say it's chemical because it's non-flammable, water-based, environmentally safe. So I'm going to scrub my cabinets down. First, I'll take everything off and I will bring you along. I will scrub my cabinets and everything, wipe it clean, let it dry, and then we can paint. It's that simple. And then you let it sit. Like, I let it sit for like 48 hours before I attach everything or 24, I think. I have to read up. But before I attach everything back on and then it cures and you're good. Now, because I'm short... And this is bleach. That is one of the reasons I'm wearing gross clothes. Other than I'm also cleaning. And you love my hat? It says meow. It came in my um, cat lady box this month. It got delivered early, which was nice for myself and the boys. They were very happy. Oh, don't be turning on that. Now, um, I am going to be replacing all of my outlet covers. I'm going to try to find white, straight white. Um, just because, you know, I've got to match things up. So all the coffee that was sitting on this cabinet countertop, the stains, is gone now, which is nice. That's why I like to use, um, every once in a while, I just go at it with a bleach cleaner. And then I just use a white cloth to dry it up and let it disinfect. Let it do its thing. And again, I, I live alone, so I don't have to worry about, you know, anybody else bringing things in. It's just me and the cats, and they can't catch it. So, plus I don't really go outside much. Although Wellington does. Little Debbie, he goes out a little bit. So that is my plan for the morning, is to just get this kitchen done, mop the floor, I did vacuum the stairs and I vacuumed the upstairs hallway. I did unload the dishwasher and I cleaned the front of my refrigerator. It is stainless steel. So I cleaned that and I cleaned my stove top. So now it's just a matter of finishing up this kitchen counter. I just want to make sure that all the coffee stains are up from when I dribble. And it looks like they are perfect. Yes. And we're going to move on. Hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. Because I'm going crazy. <laughs> I am not an introvert, if you haven't noticed. So social isolation. But we're doing it. We're doing it. We got this. All right. Kitchen is clean. Floors have been mopped. Counters have all been, <laughs> there's my tripod. Counters have all been bleached down. A, no dirt or virus, but mostly the coffee stains are gone. Scrubbed out the sink. And I have a few items drying and they'll get put away. Trash can even got a good wipe down this week. Ugh, now I'm going to cook something because I'm hungry. Hungry. All right, guys, we are making some chuffles. To an avocado toast and so it's my version of avocado toast I use a chaffle because I don't eat bread and even though we're in the middle of a crisis I gotta stay on board with my keto so I get this question a lot my recipe for chaffles here we go it's simple as can be two eggs I'm making four chaffles because I'll save two for later Probably have them for dinner. I have some lunch meat and stuff I want to eat up before I take more food out of the freezer or, you know, preparing too much food that I can't eat. Now, the recipe is two eggs 
one egg, I should say, to a half a cup of cheese. But I've been doing this so much and long, I just know the consistency that I want. But here's one thing, you get it in here and you really need to stir it pretty aggressively because your eggs don't want to mush up with that cheese. And you can also um, shred your own cheese. I just happen to have this. Obviously supplies are getting limited. Um, I have not seen though that cheese has been affected just yet. And I do have more in the freezer, so. I like mine pretty thick. So that is the consistency that I'm gonna go with. Now, here's the truth of it. If you put too much egg mixture on this waffle maker and shut the lid, it will boil over. It'll like bleh everywhere. Do you like that? Bleh. So I go with the less is more approach. Generally, I will spread it or put enough in so that it just covers the bottom. The eggs do puff up and so will the cheese with it. So to me, that is good. It is just covering the edges. Cover, close the lid. Now you need to determine for your own self how crunchy or not you want your cheese to go. Um, you know, for me, it kind of just depends on what it is that I'm eating and, you know, stuff like that. Now, I'm going to cut my avocado and not cut my hand off. We always try for that, right? <gasps> my avocado is a little brown. Oh, no. Let's see how far. Ew, okay, well... I don't think that's too bad. It smells fine. Let me get rid of this pit. I'll just eat what I'm gonna eat today and I won't save any of this for later. Dang it. So I'll get rid of some of the brown on this side. And just get enough to make toast there. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's just a little brown. Oops. I'll just make enough for one. And I'm super basic when I make avocado toast. I do put a little lemon juice. Obviously fresh is best, but that's not an option for me right now. So I put a little lemon juice in it. A little salt. A little pepper. And then I like a little Cholula or hot sauce, whatever you got in the house. I'm not a fan of Tabasco. To me, that's just overly hot and there's not a lot of flavor. I like a Cholula, a Frank's Red Hot. Um, yeah, those are my favorite. And that is what I do for my cauliflower not cauliflower, <laughs> mashed avocado. Mm, no, it doesn't taste great. Okay, well, anyway, we'll change it up. That's not what we're having. <laughs> I'll just put some, I'll make some peanut butter toast. Which is really good on here. If you've ever had peanut butter um, on cheese crackers, you know the way... Packages of cheese crackers. I eat those fairly regular. I used to. Um, now, so since I'm going with toast, I'm gonna let that cook a little firmer. I was really hoping for the best here, guys, but I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. I'm out of it. I'm not out of it. It's just going to be cold. So I need it to melt onto the chocolate when I take it out. So I just put a little butter and a little peanut butter and do like peanut butter toast. So when this comes out, 
just sits on there. Let me get one more in. And again, you just want to watch your portions. And this isn't for everybody. Some people don't like chaffles. I honestly like them. I think they taste good. Um, I don't add, I don't like the sweet ones. That I can tell you. Um, then I'm just going to do this on the, on the two that I'm going to eat now because I'm hungry. There we go. That'll melt. I'll put a little peanut butter on top and call it. So that's what I'm having for lunch today. And probably I'll make a sandwich on the extra chaffles for dinner. Just to use up some of the lunch meat that I have. Yeah, so that's it. Is there a birdie out there, Alex? It's out there. No, I don't see a bird. Do you say hi to our friends? Say hi. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, the state of Ohio is now on lockdown or stay at home order. I'm not sure exactly what they're calling it, but we're home for the duration anyway, but now it's official. We cannot leave our homes unless absolutely necessary. Yay. So my coworkers and I are gonna have to come up with a routine. What are you doing over there, buddy? I did get my COVID-19 exercise on. I carried three bags of kitty litter over three trips upstairs, so that was good. And then I washed all the counters and mopped the floor, so I got my arms workout in. And now we're gonna do something. I just don't know what. Maybe moisturize, I look wrinkly today. All right, guys, my poor craft room has been turned into a work slash craft space. So I still have all my shelving units with my crafty goodness that needs tidying. I had to move my cart over here. I set up this plastic table-y thing to do crafting on and projects and things. And then I moved my craft table over here in front of my dresser, I use that TV as one screen. So I have a 32 inch monitor and then my laptop is a secondary monitor. And then I have a little table and my work bag. I do need to vacuum my tissues fell cats. Yep. And then I do get a lot of sunlight in here. And then this needs tidying up as well. This is where my, oops, sorry. That's where my sewing machine goes. And things need to be tidied up in this room. And it's the next cleaned space. All right, guys, have a great Monday. Bye.